let's jump into SnapArt real quick, which is a much more expensive plugin, which I don't actually own this one, but I downloaded the trial. You can see this is the, and you can go on all these, you can go from the very impressionistic with the big brush strokes, which is this one, or you can go down to this type, this looks a lot more photorealistic, right? Yeah. But when you zoom in, you see there are there aren't really pixels here. These are actual brush strokes. And this is all SnapArt did all this for us. And you can actually see when you look at the picture, you can tell the difference. But when you go from here to here, it looks a lot more photorealistic. So let's, uh, as with any painting. You want to retouch your picture first. You want to get your colors adjusted. You want to levels and all that normal stuff. We have a duplicate layer here. Let's jump down to Snap Art 2. And you pick, again, you pick the kind of painting you want. Those last two were watercolor or oil, so let's try watercolor. Okay, we're going to delete all these regions. And you have this set here of starting places. So we can go small brush, no canvas. We'll probably give you the most photorealistic type look to start with. You have a slider up here. And you can hit the space bar to see before and after. OK, we'll jump into uh, full strength here. We've got a navigator here in the top. And OK, so there's the watercolor look, right? And then you've got all these other choices. If you want the kind of, you can set a kind of paper if you want to actually put a texture down, directional lighting on that paper. But this is the really the part that makes SnapArt cool to me is this button right here. You click this, you get this new focus region is what they call this. Okay, you can make change the size and you can change the shape right here. So like, normally you want the eyes to have a lot more detail. So once you make a focus region, you drag up the detail. And you'll see the detail come back into the eyes. Do you guys see the difference here? Yeah. Go up to 100% if you want. And it looks a lot more like you would expect an eye to look in a painting, right? So we can then uh, scroll over to here. We can add a new one. Again, same thing. It's pretty quick to do this. If you had to do a lot of paintings, you were kind of making money on it, and this looked okay for you, might be a good, be well worth the money. So you can drag that up again. So those eyes match. Let's uh, fit this in window. You can do this. You can put regions on top of other regions. So if we wanted to have some more detail in the face. Right, we put a region around the face, and we can make that less probably than the eyes, but uh, enough. And hide focus outlines. There we go. So now we have a watercolor where the eyes and face have a lot more detail than the rest. You click OK, and, it, and this one actually makes a new layer for you every time, which is kind of nice. And I don't, you guys want to see the effects? Okay, we'll wait for it then. While that's running, let's have a look and see where we're going next. Simplify, snap art. Okay. If you're really into painting, Corel Painter is much more of a painting program, especially if you actually know how to paint, which I don't. But many people do, and it's very, you can mix your own paints together. You can grab the primary colors, you can mix them together. It's got all the different brushes you've ever dreamed of having, camel hair and round and wet, you can do watercolors, impasto, oil paints, acrylic. Okay, so here is our painting. You can see the detail falls off right at the edges, and we want the more detail on the face, right? 
And still, when you take it back to the photo, it, it does... It's funny because you think, oh, it's, it's not painty enough sometimes. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the real photo, you're like, oh, no, it's, it looks painty. Yeah. And you can see how the brush strokes actually follow... I don't know how they do it. They actually follow the contours, just like you would normally want to do, right? Yeah. Okay, so there is Snapper. Very nice paint maker program. Now, 